Hey everybody, I am Josh. Hello. I'm here with Tech and Rev. We are the crew of Indie Revolution Expo, presented by Indie Game Riot. We are also we the crew are of also. Indie Game Riot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the first day, Friday, July 15th. I actually had to check that. <laughs> and um, good morning, first of all. Yes, Second of all, it's so early. We've got the, the, so. The, uh, <laughs> what one of the three days a year where Indie Game Riot doesn't wake up at one and goes, ah, we'll go back. We'll we'll get some a few extra hours. Mm -hmm. The show doesn't start until nine. <laughs> we've got uh, we've got so many games to talk about, which oh, yeah. uh, you can see on that side. Uh, what games are going to be talking about next? Uh, first game exhibit. Um, First, let, let's give you some information. Indie Revolution Expo. We, this is the second year doing it. This is IRX 16 with the Boss 101 theme. Boss 101 was the winner of last year's Most Revolutionary Game Award. Which and is therefore, just a, I, I realized after all of our talking about that, we should probably caveat that and be like, it's not necessarily that it's you know an, uh, uh, an artistic experience the way people think about when you think revolution. It's you know. The theme that fits. I didn't with say it. Renaissance. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was the. It was basically it's the game of show um, from last year. The, he Boss One One will actually be uh, displayed again this year during one of the exhibits. However, um, for rules that uh, we're not going to pick him again for obviously the award because he already won. Give someone else a chance. Um. So, other things that we're going on. First of all. Thank you to our sponsors. If you check out below the stream, there's uh, three sponsors. We have uh, Indie Box, we have Tiny Build, the publisher, and also uh, GameKicker.org, which is a crowdfunding site specifically for indie games. Um, please feel free to go check out those. Uh, all the buttons are linked down. Just click on their logo. And uh, thank them for sponsoring us and also uh, give them support. Some other things, there's rules, read them. Gist of it is just don't be a dick. Um, yeah. But feel free to read them. I know the, the image for the rules is small, but if you click on it, it'll blow it up. And then um, also check out the social media down there. And finally, there's a contest button. There's a huge... Last year, I think we had like 10 or 15 games in our like big yeah. indie game giveaway. giveaway. 33 games this year, ladies and gentlemen. 33 games, all thanks to all the very generous game devs that are uh, participating in this year's uh, expo. So go check that out. It's like one of those things where you do a bunch of social media stuff and um, and you'll be be entered to win 33 games from this year's expo. And there's a list of all the games that you can win. And there's also going to be giveaways uh, throughout the stream for like individual keys. Uh, not all 33, but you know what I mean. So check all that stuff out. Am I missing anything? Uh, welcome to IRX. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, we actually I'm... didn't have. We, we actually had more than a month to plan this year. Yeah. So. <laughs> Maybe it'll go according to plan. Josh, I, I just want to make sure uh, you are recording, right? Yep. We're and good. your house is not on fire. And not the house yet. isn't on fire. Not yet. If the house, if your house does catch on fire. Put your camera on and be like, hey, house is on fire. You guys keep talking. Well, last year, I mean, it was on. It was just we were on a panel, so you can yeah, see Yeah, exactly. It. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you guys could have. But <laughs> um, we actually have still a couple minutes before we actually have to get started into the game exhibits. Um, cool. So feel so free to make sure to that we, uh, chat we have everyone. the notes that, that Josh and I worked so tirelessly on. I will say that on them too. That uh, it, it was it was a pretty soul sucking like afternoon. Because I was just like, yeah, I should just do this. And so I put both the spreadsheet and then the uh, the doc on two different screens and was just copying and pasting everything. But Yeah. Oh, Rev, speaking of uh, soul-sucking, did you put all the Twitters on? That's what I've been doing yeah, this entire right, time. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm, thank you. I'm, now down, I'm now down to 645 for, for For today. <laughs> for today. Right. Jeez. 85 games, guys. 85 games that we're going to be talking about. We've got, five, what is it, five panels per day? Um, something like, something that. like that. It's not like a specific amount. It's just kind of how it laid out. Yeah, but it's, um, it's something like five panels per day, 85 games spread out over three days. Yeah. Um, next, year, some, next year, we're going to have to figure out a new play. format. 
Because uh, yeah. to give people better screen time. Maybe. We'll yeah, see. we'll have to figure it out. Um, well, if you have we'll any suggestions, uh, send us an email. I actually have uh, a survey for the devs and stuff like that, too, all set up. That, mm -hmm. By the way, you two, if you think of questions, just like Skype or email me with them. Right, um, right. Just uh, some background info to how this all works. Those games over there, um, we'll be streaming our gameplay, talking about the, the information that they gave us, like the standard information, like where you can get it, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then we'll be talking about what we think of it as well um, uh, shortly. So we're probably going to give each game about... <laughs> eight-ish minutes based because of how many games we have. We wanted to give ten originally, um, but you'll be able to hear the gameplay audio for like a few minutes and then uh, or however long the video is and then we'll replay it without audio while we talk over it. Um, all the games were randomized uh, as far as like what game exhibit they end up showing up in. So, But anyway, it is time for is it? speaking of, it is time for the first uh Game exhibit. Game exhibit number one. You guys ready for this? Kicking uh, it almost. off. What do we got first? First up is a game called Regular Human. 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 <laughs> human. Regular Human Basketball. Regular Human we are Basketball. Not robots. Ha ha. Yeah. Uh, it is by Power Hoof. Power Hoof is the developer of Crawl. Here's some gameplay uh, of that. This one actually will not have audio because uh, it's like a Let's Play style that they submitted, so I'm not going to play these people's voices. I don't know them, and I don't like them. Yep. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you don't. Uh, yeah. Well, it's the devs <laughs> playing their own game. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think it is, but I don't know. Maybe it is. In that case, I do like you. I love you. Um, you can find uh, Powerhoof uh, on Twitter, at Powerhoof. They're re this game is actually free on itch.io.com. Um, you can see here that you basically you have these contraptions that you make them out of different parts and the point is to make the best contraption in order to get your basketball into the quote basketball hoop. So ridiculously awesome. And then you sort of control it like uh, lovers in a beautiful space time where you're actually like running around and like mm -hmm. hitting different things to move your, your craft. Right. And uh, up to 10 local multiplayer uh, players. Ten right. people. Uh, yeah. Five in each little machine. Regular that, human machine. The fact that this is free kind of shocks me because this one very is... very clean. Yeah. Uh, this one is just... It, it, the, the fact that how, how complicated it is, the fact that, first of all, it's hard to set up something multiplayer. Um, yeah. I mean, that takes a lot of... Uh, you know, energy and know-how and that sort of stuff. And the fact that they made this free is crazy. And then to have five, I feel like, I mean, this is obviously a, a physics um, based kind of game, but also sort of like co-op. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, it's also got like a, way. it's like a, uh, a really like hate your friends at the end of this kind of, kind of vibe yeah. <laughs> because you can screw each other up really bad. I think. Yeah, Monopoly sort of feel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Regular Human Basketball is actually going to also um, be, I think, yeah, it's also going to be one of the games that we're going to vote for in the live stream. Or, in like, not live stream, in the live gameplay later. Um, oh, we are doing live gameplays then. We yeah, are, yes. Yep, yep. Uh, you, by the way, you can also download the uh, soundtrack for Regular Human Basketball for free on Bandcamp. If you go to the Itch.io page, there's a link for that. So if you like the music, you can get a free download of the two songs for the uh, for the soundtrack. Absolutely. Which the, is fun. The website, by the way, is down at the bottom. Um, it's a lot to type in, but that's what they gave me. Or you can just, uh, if someone wants to link. Yeah, you've already are, been you linked. Did? Well, shit, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> um, go ahead and check it out for yourself right now, and you can play it while listening to us. But don't don't close this out. <laughs> this looks yes, so. It is, it is uh, for Windows, Mac, and Linux as well. So um, play to your heart's content. I am actually gonna play. I guess I guess I'll play a little bit of audio so you can hear these guys Get talk. The about, so you can hear the game as well. So I will do that. Really, like this game looks so ridiculously complicatedly awesome. We need to rotate the rocket. There we go. Oh god, they're gonna try to jump us, Rick. Okay. Alright, ready? It ain't happening. Hold on, Jess. Hold on. Alright, we're doing it now. We're rotating. We're gonna fall again. We're gonna fall again. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
This reminds me of BattleBots a little bit. Yeah. Oh, he goes down. <laughs> it's probably going to be delayed because of the stream, but whatever. No, it should all be. Oh, we, we need to uh, we need to do the uh, like like the 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 actual human commentary. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it'll be the on a two minute delay because yeah, because we're watching it over the stream. But yeah, um, so I had like we we talked quap. Uh, this is definitely very quapish. Mm. Um, there was a there was a game uh, something like a like a robotic centipede. I feel like we mm. talked about a, like a, maybe a year or two ago. Kind of reminds me of that too, where you just uh, no, it's not a centipede, but like you create this like thing with a bunch of limbs and try and roll it across the landscape. Oh, um, yeah, no, I know which one you're talking about. I just yeah. can't for the life of me remember its name. I can picture it. I I have to say I have to say I really like the design for this game. Um, at, at least the the. Uh, the uh, robotic aspect to it, like the 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 physics seem to be a touch wonky, almost comedically so. But I think that's part of the draw for this. It, it started uh, as like a, a a legitimate game, and then they were like, we can't quite get the physics engine right, and they're just like, <laughs> fuck it, it's a feature now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's one of those like uh, rage games, except you rage at your friends. Yeah. Because uh, it's yeah, you end up hating each other after this. It's always a good time. <laughs> better than Monopoly for ruining friendships. <laughs> <laughs> so how long, how long, do, do we know how long this was in development? No. I don't. Okay. If you look it up, you can, but they didn't provide that information. So. Gotcha. I think this would be a lot of fun. I think, well, especially considering that you can, if you have 10 uh, game controllers. <laughs> 10 people you, kicking around, yeah. You, you can, you can, yeah, and 10 friends to all show up to your 10 person house that can fit nine other people in it. Um, yeah, who's got 10 controllers hooked up to their PC? Let's I don't even know. If, I, well, uh, the, the guys at Cluster Puck, you remember that? Yeah. At yeah. MacFest, they had like eight Xbox controllers on one game. So it's possible. And here I feel good having my one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, we need to bring the magnet arm around. Here we go. Here we go. Coming around. So I think that's I think that's about all we can say about. Yeah, we're just uh, I'm just letting some of this gameplay run through a little bit so people can watch it and then we'll move on. So enjoy that. I'm, I'm trying to pick out how the control scheme works and. Uh, I think it's basically. I mean, it's probably just directional and jump. And then, uh, or are you talking about like inside of the robot? Inside of the robot. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I... There's looks like there's a uh, four different um, like rotation buttons, so you can flip around, and then there's just directional, so you can go side to side, uh, depending on what depending on what like how you're flipped. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Seems really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. I I like it. This one's gonna be the vote that I give. Yeah. Well, don't don't uh, don't throw your your change into one hat. <laughs> I don't know what that means because we got plenty of other games. Speaking of uh, plenty of other games, the next game that we have uh, going on is Master Spy. Master Spy. Master Spy. It's uh. Well, let's let's let the uh, let's let the audio play on this oh, one. This good is idea. actual yep. chair. There we go.
All right, that was Master Spy, and uh, that is by Turbo Gun. You can find uh, the developer of Turbo Gun or of Master Spy at Chris Truitt on Twitter. Um, it's for sale on Steam, nine ninety nine, a uh, a steal of a price, if you ask me. Um, you can also uh, go to their website website and use the uh, humble widget uh, to give them more, more of a cut. Yes, because Steam devs. takes out more. Uh, more money than than humble does so if you want to support the dev you will get a steam key that way as well as a drm free version of the game you can also pick up uh the soundtrack plus the game for 15 uh and you can also get the soundtrack if you want to get it any other way on itunes or bandcamp that is a cool that's a cool soundtrack um, yeah. do you remember do you remember the old nes game spy versus spy yep <laughs> you take that, you take that, and you make it have a love child with Mega Man, and yeah, I kind of yeah. get that. Like it's that very similar feel. Big Attack in the chat actually compared it to Mega Man. It looks, I can see the Mega Man comparisons, but it looks a lot harder to me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, sort now, of like Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm terrible at platformers, to be honest, especially ones that are like very much based on reaction time, mm-hmm. and uh, to have, to have like something like this, it would probably make me rage. However, I can see if you can if you can do well at it, it probably makes you feel like a badass. Like, because I was watching watching the gameplay, like if you think of like a, a spy movie, and they're just like dodging almost Matrix style, like all these kinds of you know traps and things yeah, like yeah. that that's what this basically looks like you know him uh-huh. dodging all those darts and uh the lasers and keeping out of people's sights and stuff like that um those trap doors too what was that a tiger <laughs> something like <laughs> something uh so i mean it looks incredibly hard but very satisfying if you can complete it yeah definitely uh, this is also one of the games that's going to be in the uh, the big giveaway that we're running. Mm-hmm. So you, if you win that, you have a chance to actually uh, play it for yourself. So I can, is it, I'm not eligible to win that, am I? No. Uh, no. You're eligible Darn for it. for a good smack <laughs> in the face. Um, did, does this one actually have a giveaway? Can you check no, your notes? It doesn't. Okay, it's just for the main giveaway then. Yes. All right. Remind me for other games if there was a giveaway because I, I will. No I'm not problem. looking at the notes. Gotcha. So I've got it up. I mean, what do you do? You think that you'd be good at this game? I, I would. I mean, by good, I mean I, I would probably <laughs> I would. play it enough <laughs> to. Uh, well, because I I really like the I really, I really do like tight two D platformers, especially in this like aesthetic. Yeah. Because this is also reminding me sort of of. Um, uh, Yahtzee Croshot made uh, the original Trilby Art of Theft game, which is a slightly slower paced version of this game, sort of. It has, you know, similarities to it. And I and I love that game. And so I'm looking at this game and just like, this game just looks like, you know, ten times better than that game that you can just download for free. And um, <laughs> I I think it's really awesome. The so, uh, I, Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say I was. I, I wanted to comment. I, I appreciate the uh, the the color palettes behind this. Everything, mm. all of the all of the uh, all of the obstacles uh, are uh, offset enough from the the backgrounds that uh, even I can pick them up. Really? Because I, I I mean everything's kind of in the same tone. Um, it, so I was wondering but about that. Yeah, no, there it, it, the contrast is there enough. I think the only one that I I'm having problems with is the uh, the saw blades. Mm-hmm. Uh, for mm-hmm. those of you that don't know, Rev is uh, completely colorblind. He all he sees is black and white, and gray, like a dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, speaking of the art, uh, Matei Jan, who's going to be doing a panel at some point over at IRX. Uh, made a nice blog post and picked out a bunch of his favorite um, pixel art games from, from this year. And this was one of them. And I, I do have to say the, the level of detail, I mean, it's not yeah. like... The cutscenes alone. Yeah. It, it's they, not like... the show looks so good. It's not like, like, incredibly detailed like, um, I don't know, like, like uh, Dropsy was. But um, it's, it's... It's, it's stylistically, so very yeah. It's stylistically so, and it's detailed in the sense that, um, that there's a lot of objects in the world, 
if that makes sense to you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, the faces aren't, I mean, other than the cutscenes, but, like, in the game, the faces and stuff like that aren't fleshed out um, on purpose, obviously. However, the the backgrounds and, um, like, the traps and things like that all have a, a huge amount of detail in it. Yeah. And for pixel art, it is very densely packed. Like, it, it's, um... I, I can't quite pick the the era. Like, I mean, it's not quite. It's it's a little more than sixteen bit. But it, it's you're you're thinking you're thinking uh, um, Contra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, wasn't uh, no? Yeah, it was Contra. Yeah, yeah. You're right. That's the the what, on the stream that just happened. The saw blades. Those were uh, on the the Asian mat background. That was the one that I was having. Problems, really? I thought that would be the one that you'd be able to see because the saw blades are pretty different from that. But I don't know. It's it's the it's the contrast. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's the contrast there. But uh, in general, no. Like I, the controls look super gun. tight on this too. By the way, <laughs> fix that. <laughs> they, they'd have yeah. to be. I think exactly. if you're if yeah. you're doing a, a precision platformer. Uh, you you your controls have to be ultra tight because I think it'd be cool. Yeah. I think this would be cool to to watch speed runs of, because I I bet you the speed run community around that game would just <laughs> go crazy. You know what else is ultra tight? What what would that be? <laughs> uh, where are you going with this one? <laughs> the Sigma the Sigma Theory is the next game up uh, is an ultra tight game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ultra tight game. Uh, here, listen to the trailer. and four men. Only four? Four is enough, if they're the best. Is this the Cold War all over again? The Cold War was about two countries stockpiling weapons. The Sigma Theory is mankind's greatest disruption. It's our chance to demolish the global financial system and a whole lot more. I see only two ways this can end. The world will be wiped out. Or it will be saved? Or it will be changed forever. But how do you plan to win this war? I don't plan to win. But I'll do my best to be the last one to lose. So that is the Sigma Theory by Miklo what, Studio. What? what is it going to be? Um. So, <laughs> basic. Okay, for for one, it's uh, by Miklo Studio. You can find them on Twitter at me underscore close. That's M I underscore C L O O S. It's going to be on PC and Android according to their website. I don't know about iOS. You'd have to ask them. Uh. It it seems to say Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. I must have seen that somewhere because I yeah, remember putting that in there. Well, I mean, when I say oh, yeah. PC, I just mean computer. Oh, um, gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, but I don't know about iOS. It doesn't say anything about iOS. Maybe um, it doesn't. So the Sigma Theory is um, very... It's actually, I think, partly a graphic novel. Okay. Uh, yeah, like a, like, like an interactive, a... Like an interactive fiction type of thing. Oh no! I remember this one. Yeah, we one. talked yeah, we about talked this about on Indie Game Riot. Yes, yes, the 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 co-op. Yeah. The the yeah. No, this one I'm really excited for. And by the way, uh, unfortunately, the 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 banner on this one is slightly off. There is a price available for pre-ordering the game. It is fourteen ninety nine. Oh good. Or you can buy it as a as the pre-order with it plus the soundtrack, which I really want, uh, for twenty four ninety nine. Right. And that's on their website uh, through the uh, the humble widget. Yep, sigmagametheory.com. Sigmatheorygame.com. Sorry, Sigma dyslexia. <laughs> Website's down at the bottom. You can just type it. Don't listen it's, to that. It's still 7.30 in the morning here, and I haven't had coffee. Um, so a, a little bit about this one. For, for those of you guys that, that didn't catch us on the on the show when we were talking about it, um, you're, you're, you're going to be... Uh, 
trying to take over the world using the, uh, the, the, the intelligence agency of your country. And uh, it's going to be really... <sighs> I'm trying to remember how they had this placed out. You have, like, uh, 50, 50 unique agents that you can... You can uh, recruit, recruit and team up with. Uh, there's a bunch of technologies that you can utilize to try and take over. And, uh, yeah. The, the co-op thing that you mentioned, though, is what impresses me the most. Especially when you're talking about... Um, I mean, I know they're releasing it on, on the PC and, and Mac and Linux and stuff, but to, to do it on iOS is, is impressive to me. Or not iOS, on uh, mobile. Android. Android. Yeah. Uh, to, to have a game that uh, complex on, on mobile is, is impressive. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about it now, and I don't recall... I, I might have this one being crossed with another one in my head. Maybe. I really might. I don't know. I mean... You know, actually, that didn't thought cover went through my head... That thought went through my head too, but I do definitely remember talking about this one. I don't know. It, it's it's just that because it's it's not out yet. There's um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little fuzzy still. We kind of have so, to go based off of um, they, we go based off of whatever they gave us, and then we have to <clears throat> base it off of our uh, either personal experience if they provided a key or whatever is on their website and gameplay footage. So, um, but the theory. the other yeah, thing hasn't go ahead. The other thing is uh, going back to the art. Um, Another game with really good art on it is is obviously since it's like a graphic novel type of thing, it has to have good art. But um, it's like a cool stylized. Um, it's almost noirish, but not quite because with the color scheme, you know what I mean, with the red and, yeah. and like a dark uh, dark blue. Mm hmm. So uh, go ahead. Yep. Oh no, and I was also just gonna say uh, this is by uh, uh, Me Close Studios. Also has. Um, another series called out there which is on uh google play and uh and ios devices as well out there uh, and, Mega, so, and there's actually another game that they're going to be showing off this this yeah week. so i did a i did a little bit of digging while we were while, while we were doing this uh it's a turn-based strategy game uh mm. so uh, and it doesn't but isn't look it multi like it, i thought it was multiplayer i thought that, I, I, I was with you on that one i i don't maybe it's not speaking multiplayer oh I don't. Fix your stuff. Cross that one off the list. My apologies, Not the game, the, the, the feature. <laughs> Either way, you also get, you know, control of, like, a drone fleet. You can betray your allies and do all this crazy stuff. Oh, and... betrayal is the best. Yeah. <laughs> there are uh... <laughs> Um, relatively small team out of uh, out of France, uh, Lyon, France. And, uh, no, really, I'm... I, I like the subject behind this, uh, and I've, if, if the controls, unfortunately, we haven't seen a whole lot of the controls because it's still in development. But uh, in the event that the controls meet my criteria, I'm going to be wanting one of these games. Uh, it's due out this year, though. So, do you notice that the theme of espionage tends to? Is, it seems like it's really growing in the indie scene. Really. Yeah. You, you you think a lot of developers might be uh, might be making topical games, exploring that? You're uh. <laughs> you're, Sorry, was that not sarcastic enough for you? Your sarcasm is is uh, <laughs> is lacking. I, okay. I want more, uh, I'm still not awake. Cut me some slack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is Sigma Theory. Good job, Miklo Studios. And moving on the next game what would you say the next game is as i put the, the thing on with all the games <laughs> well i mean we aren't quite talking about 100 games today but we will be talking about the other, the 99, other 99 which is <laughs> the next game that we're talking about <laughs> yeah uh by burning arrow uh and burning arrow.co.uk here's the, the this is a really quick trailer so uh easy listen So that is the other ninety nine, uh, of course, as you saw, by made with the Unreal Engine four. Um, so this one I'm actually really super excited about, 
I've always been into that kind of um, battle royale, Hunger Games type of situation when it comes to games and movies and fiction in general. Um, I don't know what that says about me as a person. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's a cool, it's it's a cool game. It, it's it's cool to to experience those kinds of things. And this this one, it it it's. It, it looks like it's going to be a lot more fast paced than a lot of the uh, the atmospheric horror survival games because this is a a uh, it's an action survival and the the world that they they've created in there just looks so so cool and it, it, it it's it's weird because in a lot of these like scary games you're like you know you're walking down a hallway and there's a set number of things to do and and here like it might that might be the case but the environments and and the world that they've that they're showing off in this trailer really make me sort of it, it actually reminds me a little bit about of of, of mist a tiny bit mist. just because of the uh the, yeah a little bit because because it is open and you can like you know your the view distance is, well, is mist pretty is a good puzzle game well i know mist is a puzzle i mean like aesthetically <laughs> you know like you you want to keep looking around so and you're saying this looks like things. this looks like a mid-90s <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just saying, if if, uh, if if this genre existed for, I'm just, I'm for Windows 98, <laughs> um, the other 99 is, is like I said, it's kind of like a battle royale type of situation, and um, basically you're, of course, in some sort of psychopaths uh, contest type of thing. Uh, there's only I don't know why I just talked like that. There is only one uh, one way to get out, and that is to be the only survivor. Um, and that is out of 99 uh, other or out of 100 because there are other there are 99 other they, people that you have I, to I like through. how you that just clicked for you <laughs> huh I said I like how that just clicked for you there's there's 99 people wait oh the other yeah, 99 yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you have I to wonder if there's, I wonder if you can just hide and let everybody else kill each other well <laughs> for, for like four hours probably I mean probably it's um, I don't I actually don't know if this is multiplayer. It, it might be... Um, if you look uh, it up I'm on the website... Don't, it, it says it's single player. Yeah, yeah it's going to uh, be single player. So it's not, it's not, it's not multiplayer. It's not, like, um, it's not like the culling, if, if that's what you're thinking no. about. Um, there are literally, no, like, I think, 99 NPCs in the game that you have to go through. Which is pretty cool. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's ways that they die without you being there, you know? Traps yeah. and such. Yeah. Um, and it... it the way they, the way it got explained to me, is that it seemed like obviously you're not a psychopath, right? Yeah, uh, well, 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 the character in the game is not a psychopath. <laughs> you, you can be if you want to be, I guess. Uh, the character in game is not a psychopath, but um, all right, yeah, I guess you could be. But so you kind of have, um, like, you don't want to kill these people, but at the same time, you got to get out, right? You, you know what I'm thinking I, I, as I'm as I'm reading over the little blurbs that uh, the the burning arrow is is putting out uh, making available I'm pretty convinced that this is not going to be just a can I kill everybody else and be the last person standing I, there's gonna have to, I, I'm fairly certain that this is going to be a, a puzzle there a lot of puzzle aspects well also the the big thing that's getting me is that it says that everybody has a different story and, and every single person is a puzzle piece to, to yeah, the entire exactly. game. Well, and, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not, yeah. you know, it's not mindless killing. You know what I mean? You there's, it's giving these people uh, a character and a backstory. And um, I don't know how fleshed out it will be, but you know, you're like, you're like, these people have families. They want to get out just as bad as I do. Um, maybe there's going to be some sacrifice. Like, you know, maybe some guy gets his leg lopped off and you're like, oh, shit, let me help you. He's like, no, go on without me. You know, that sort of thing. Um, there's there's emotion to this. It's not just it's not Which just probably means the, the, the easiest way to, to play this is to not talk to anybody and just kill everybody and not even think about it. Not even have an effect. <laughs> and then just, just rock you yourself just sleep to sleep better at night knowing that, that these people are probably horrible people anyway. Don't think about it. Just <laughs> Now, just a just as a as a reminder to everybody, we don't know how much it's going to cost yet. That hasn't been announced. However, uh, it will be released in early access. Originally, they were going to say July seventh or eleventh. I mean, and then they had to push it back 
but uh, it's not too far. It comes out. It'll be available on Steam uh, the 25th of August. So, Woo. you know, a week in a, week in a couple of days. Well, we always talk about it. It's always better Sorry, to make on. sure that it is polished. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, I mean, it's still going to be an early access, but you know, like to the point where it's playable. Yeah, it's not. You know, if it's going to be early access, it's for feedback and for little things. You know, if it's completely jacked up, you obviously want. And even maybe that that small bit of 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 revenue just to be able to knock the last bit out. Yeah, always good. It looks it looks really really cool. Um, what what would you do if you were in this situation? me uh well i know what you would do (laughs) (laughs) i would turn cannibal no uh (laughs) are you gotta guarantee food it's not like it's gonna take you six months to kill 99 people (laughs) while while all these other 99 people are trying to kill each other too yeah (laughs) exactly like you don't really know how big this like little fenced in area is either yeah worst case scenario you you dig yourself a hole (laughs) To hide in for for like a few weeks. <laughs> no, no, I'm 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 a bit more uh, aggressive in that regard. Um, no, I yeah, that's a good question. Like, I don't know if I could like it. Okay, I will say this: it depends on the context as to why I'm there. Like, like yeah. Well, I, basically, I, if, I I think if I'm remembering correctly, unless I'm getting mixed up with something else, there's a group of rich people, of course, that. Um, take these 99 and I'm not sure if the 99 or the 100 actually I'm not sure if they're like some sort of delinquents or you know what I mean but uh, they take them put them into this like basically game reserve type of thing right and let them and say hey the only way to earn your freedom is to be the last one standing so I mean that's really what it comes down to yeah yeah, I could see that, but at the same time, like I'm, I'm looking, I'm waiting for the inevitable betrayal. Uh, who? I, <laughs> <laughs> there, there is the, uh, there is the author that, that wrote the short story about like the only, the only game worth hunting, the only, uh, the only true game worth hunting is, uh, is man. Uh, I, I'm willing to bet that might play a role in it, but no. I'm I'm stoked yeah. for this. I can't I can't wait. Uh, they're gonna have they're they're going to be uh, unveiling it uh, also at uh, GameCon. Mm-hmm. Cool. In uh, in, in August. So uh, we might be there. Tech and I depends. We'll yeah, see. maybe we'll see. Uh, envy, envy. Well, you know what? We are definitely gonna see. Uh, yeah. The next game. Yeah, BFF or Die is the next game. So let's take a listen. That is BFF or Die. 
by Honey Tribe Studios. You can find them on Twitter at Honey Tribe STU. Uh, this game is going to be on Itch.io, but it is not priced yet, I don't believe. Uh, it's not yet, um, but uh, you can play. They, they do have a, a demo for it. Um, I don't think it's it's fully out yet, is it? Um, I don't I think it's still work in progress. Yeah, I don't believe I don't believe yeah. it's, yeah. <clears throat> it's it's still in, in yeah, yeah, early, early access, access on itch.io though. So um, so basically uh, BFF or Die is a multiplayer game again. Um, it's one of a lot of awards actually. If you look on their website, I think you should be able to see that. I can't uh, so everyone knows I can't like game. switch between windows so I can't look <laughs> yeah. at this stuff. So so it's a uh, best multiplayer game from uh, Game On 2.0. Uh, also Let's see. What else have they got? Uh, we're looking for it. Um, so while while he's looking for that, uh, it is uh, one to four player multiplayer uh, co-op versus puzzle platformer through space and time. Um, they were uh, they were featured on Square Enix Collective. Yeah, and, I, was, uh, I forgot about that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, when you get when an indie studio is able to get a AAA studio's attention, it's not so much that like I mean it's cool because of the um, because of the exposure you probably get from that. But right. when a AAA studio they have a certain mindset for games, so when you're able to like change your mindset and say, hey, this is actually a good game that we probably wouldn't normally make, you know, it's it's something good to be said, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And I do want to I do want to point out uh, we've we've been asked to mention it. Unfortunately, we don't. I, I don't think it's live at the moment. Uh, I'm, I've been looking for it, but uh, they are going to be crowdfunding. It looks like they're going to be doing a Kickstarter uh, to to wrap this up. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I'm. It, it's bright and it's fun, and it brings people together. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and and allows us to well, hate on each other. Fun, fun, <laughs> fun is the key word there because I mean, you saw in this trailer all those people playing, and they look like they were having tons of fun. And that's really the important thing when it when it's all said and done, right? Right. Yeah. So, exactly. Um, it's really cool aesthetic too. I like the I like the, the the models in the game, and it's kind of it's cartoony, but at the same time, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Oh, actually, know. you know what? I was I was incorrect. They are they are currently uh, on Kickstarter. Is it Isn't open? That now? Link? Yeah, sh- it, it say- is. It is open. I'm going to throw the link into chat. There we go. Right now, help them out. There you go. They're looking for uh, nineteen thousand six hundred and twenty dollars uh, U.S. Uh, they have forty-seven days to go, and uh, thirteen bucks gets you the uh, gets you one download code. Uh, from the uh, from the Kickstarter, uh, or if you're with if you buy the next one of the next fifty five uh, ten nine dollar uh, packs, you can get it early bird with a good code, um, all the way up to let's see for all you money bags out there, uh, you can get the Sensei pack for six thousand five hundred and forty <laughs> US dollars, which is four codes, four soundtracks, four. Um, uh, digital developer diaries, four private beta invitations to the online multiplayer, uh, four minifigures of the main characters, a gold, silver, and bronze character skins, two invitations to the launch party of the game, and your likenesses uh, will will be used to design our teacher character. So uh, if you if you have six thousand bucks lying around. <laughs> and you, well, and you it like the like, game? <laughs> it, it looks like it looks like they're aiming for a February of 2017 release. Mm. Uh, so that's going to be, damn, that's a ways away. Right. Yeah, but it's not too, um, too far. So, it's not too far, but it's it's been successfully greenlit uh, on Steam. Yeah. It is. Uh, they're working to get it released on PS4, Xbox One, and uh, the Wii U. Uh, is Which is probably is why they need all that money. Yeah, just being able to to uh, bring that. it about. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, feel feel free to go check out their their Kickstarter, and uh, you know, for for a small team out of out of London, uh, maybe throw them a couple of bucks. See if we can't uh, see if we can't help them out. We're uh, we're running a little bit behind, so we're going to move on to the last game of the game exhibit, and then okay. we'll move on to uh, the panel coming up next. Um, so the last game is called Turmoil. I mean- 
Turmoil. Turmoil. Who actually, uh, who one of the devs from Turmoil is actually going to be the panel that's next. So here we go. Excuse the sirens. You you can mute your mic too. You know that, right? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Oh, and make turn up the uh, the volume for the video. The video volume is up. It's as far as it goes. I gotcha. That is Turmoil by Gamius. You can currently buy it on Steam for $9.99. Um, it's actually one of the... Uh, this is a game that actually caught on a little bit on YouTube. I've seen Markiplier play it, and I think Jack Jacksepticeye is currently playing yeah. it. Yeah, and, and then uh, Generic Beast played it a while yeah. ago, back back when it was uh, an earlier build of it. Um, it's, it's really, really... It's a really cool game something that um it's like a strategy management sim type thing yeah um, but it's also you also have the uh the added bonus of of everything to do in the town with the upgrades mm -hmm. and the shares and the land bidding and the land all bidding this. is kind of funny yeah it, mm -hmm. um well i mean because it, it adds a little bit of chance it's like hey you just had a really great year and then all of a sudden you were just outbid on this piece of land that was supposed to be you know really great and all of a sudden, you're you're stuck with this piece of land out out, out over yonder, and there isn't a lot of oil there. Yeah. So Dick, you can get you can genuinely just get screwed over. Dick, move, Blanche. Dick, move. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you check on Steam, uh, you'll probably find enough um, drink your milkshake jokes to uh, make you want to rip your freaking face off. <laughs> That's a reference to uh, what was it? What's it called? That movie. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Where I can't remember the title. It's oh, well, then you don't even get the joke that I just said. The that's drink why I shake. only have, That's why I only partially chuckled. It was one of those. Ha ha! I'll give it to you. Yes, yes. Good <laughs> it's the one with Daniel Day Lewis. I forget what the hell it's called. Um, there will be blood. That that's one. The one I'm yep. Thinking of. yep. 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 That's the one I was thinking. <sighs> well, now the milkshake thing makes sense. So um, <laughs> it's really cool. I'm I'm really into these kinds of games. Um, you also, basically the gameplay is, you mentioned having a bid on the land and getting that sort of stuff, building up the town, get yep. upgrades, but the actual game is what you're seeing now where you have to drill for oil, and you kind of have to guess. You can There's certain upgrades where you can um, uncover certain spots or at least figure out where the, the, the oil generally is, um, and then you fill up your tanks, try and get uh, as much as you can, and then there's two companies on both sides. There's... Uh, I think left ink and right ink or something like that. Yep. <laughs> um, and whichever one's buying it for more money is obviously who you want to sell it to. And you can switch back and forth and try and uh, optimize the amount of money you're getting from the companies. And then therefore you spend that money on more stuff to keep making money. And that's how business yes. works, ladies and gentlemen. And it's, it's very, very, very fun. Yeah. The, the the world is procedurally generated, so every time you play, it is going to be a completely different experience. Um, and uh, and you know, I was the thing that impresses me the most about it is that it was in early access for, in my mind, a long time. It was on it was on early access for a year, and then uh, they they fully released just this past June, as I recall. Yeah. Um, and uh, is doing pretty well like, I'm, I'm thanks josh thanks i appreciate it yeah i saw that. i have to get out of here i have to get out of here i'm putting pants on because i have to i have to go take my girlfriend on an appointment 
Uh, so <laughs> I'm actually going to get out of here. Uh, there's a panel coming up soon. You guys can wrap that up and then uh, yep. do everything you need to do.